Hi Virgo, Tarot Twins here. Welcome to your soulmate reading. So this is your reading about what your soulmate is going to look like. How exciting. I'm joined by Black Feather Tarot. Hi guys, we are going to take a look at your soulmate's traits, their features, perhaps their characteristics mm -hmm. as well. So and how you'll be able to identify them. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll use these three decks and if you were after a private reading with us. We have listed our email address just below the video here. Feel free to reach out and inquire with either myself here or Felicity Tarot. Um, with all of that being said, let's go ahead and get stuck into the reading. I bet you're all keen to find out how it is that you might meet your soulmate. Okay, very hooked features. You can see the royal crook here. Okay, so hooked features, hooked nose, hooked ears. They could have a bob haircut um, straight away is what I'm seeing. They could have three tattoos or they could have spiral or round tattoos um, on them here as well. Um, I feel like they may have very buffy, voluminous hair. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm seeing these sorts of qualities to them. Quite big ears, or someone who likes yeah. to wear, has a lot of ear piercings, or likes to wear a lot like of yeah, hoops. earrings, like especially hoops in particular. Accessories. Here. Um, yeah, very ho hooked features here. Um, may Could even have some crooked like fingers or like yeah, sort of disjointed maybe. Yeah, yeah, misshaped yeah. here. Could be a barrel belly that we're seeing here as well. Could be a bit of a barrel belly. Um, Let's see what hmm. else we can find. Let's see what else we can. Um, learn about what this person is going to look like. Okay, what do okay we have? so we've got possibly ginger or blonde hair, very rosy cheeks, um, but I'm seeing a bit of a darker skin. Either this person is going to fake tan or they do have a bit of an olive tinge to their complexion. Olive or tan skin, that's right. Um, I'm seeing a, a hooked over nose though, quite a prominent nose you can see. Full lips. Someone with fuller lips, maybe blue eyes. A or square jaw, yeah. Yeah, quite a, quite a square or even masculine jaw, I'm going to say. Yeah, especially if it's a male. Yeah. Yeah, very big eyes. Joy. Very big eyes. Look at these eyes. Mm -hmm. Very big, round, full eyes here. Thick lashes here. Quite thick eyebrows here. Eyebrows seem to be sitting quite low as well. Mm -hmm. um, very thick hair is what I'm seeing. Yeah. Um, very thick hair. Um, very A long, long neck. Hair. Long neck. Something long. Something very long and flowy. Long fingers. Um, I'm also getting that this person is quite is a person of luxury. They love branded stuff here. Okay, they like to indulge mm -hmm. in the finest type mm -hmm. of, you know, all the brand, the latest stuff. They may um, even have had work done. They may even have had yes, uh, cosmetic surgery done to sort of enhance their features mm. here. Um, I also feel like maybe this person uses like if they're very active on social media, they they use a lot of the filters here to sort of enhance. Yeah, their look, maybe. yeah. Or someone, uh, yeah, I'm seeing that this person is really into like all the high brand stuff. Yep. A bit showy. And and look, for some for some of you, this person covers their hair. Now, this could be for religious reasons. Yes. This could be because maybe they just need to maintain their hair. They wear a lot of scarves or, um, you know, uh, head headpieces. Mm -hmm. They might have, yeah, they cut their hair short and then regretted it later. So, the, you know, wear extensions but or they, just like to switch it up. But I'm getting quite an artificial hair coloring or... Yeah. They like to, um... There is qu something quite made up about this person. Mm, mm -hmm. Okay, I just feel like maybe this person likes to go through makeovers here or likes to change their style up or there's just a bit of this showiness to their energy, right? Yeah, I, I would agree. I would think so too. Okay, again, we see the long neck. The, uh, the swan is looking up. Okay, so this person, I think, holds their head up quite high. Again, it's, I think they've had some sort of training, maybe in modeling or acting uh, or the way ballet, in which, it's yeah. Quite, it's quite an elegant move. Um, yeah. I'm also getting this person maybe short, hence why they're looking up mm. or struggling to reach the top shelves in supermarkets, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, but I'm also getting, they could have been a dancer here. Or they could dancer's body. Dancing. Yeah, dancer's body maybe here. Maybe exotic or yeah, ballet, ballet or. Yeah, quite, as you mentioned, quite elegant flowy here in movement right yeah yeah i think so um the 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 beak is open here as well this this person might 
lick their lips often or they might part their lips um, again possibly due to size because we did mention like round um, round lips here as well um, but again you see the pointy something could be like pointed ears could be pointed ears here or a pointed nose pointed maybe. jewelry oh yeah like pointed jewelry here pointed maybe they like to wear these pointed accessories here but i'm getting the showmanship that i just mentioned earlier here it could be that this person performed you know on, on a platform could be a performer yeah, yeah. yeah a performer here so you know they they attract an audience here or someone who has like a large following in social media i'm getting here yeah, that this person sort of um They've either been in the spotlight or they like the attention. Now, there could be an injury here to this person as well. Notice how the swan looks almost trapped. We see this figure up the top here who's also trapped. They may have been involved in some sort of injury. Mm. Okay, so this might be a minor or a major injury. Um, I, I What comes to mind is stitches when I see this. Yeah, no, you're right. Stitches or even surgery, right? Yeah, so, I think for some of you, you this person... Still. Yeah, they may have a scar. It may be like a long scar. Um, quite a prominent. Nose quite a prominent. They could have several stitches. I mean, possibly up to eight stitches. Mm -hmm. And this this might be coming up. Um, you might notice that on their body. It's quite interesting. Okay. Again, I I do feel like it is someone shorter. You're right. Yeah, I do. It's feel someone like... fun size coming in. <laughs> fun size. Mm -hmm. I do feel like this. Yeah, this person is uh, shorter, but I feel like they've got quite a uh, a quick energy to them. Yeah. A very quick energy to them. Um, quite athletic. Well, we did mention this a person might have been a body. dancer yeah. before. Someone who I feel like has quite a flow or rhythm to to the way they move here, the way they carry themselves here. Um, Short black hair, or they may wear wigs. Again, we mentioned the yeah. different hair pieces the appearance that's right and we did say that this person was um either tanned or olive skinned here someone a little bit of darker mm. appearance here a lot of jewelry a lot of accessories here could they hold a... something could be a walking stick a cane mm. they're holding something what is it that they're holding not sure could be a form of accessory here as well yeah it could be some bangles that they have mm -hmm. there's something prominent around their arm mm -hmm. Um, um, yeah, the headpieces could be cultural. The plumes, just, yeah. Yeah, it could be just, you know, fashion wear here. Um, I feel like this person has a lot of animals or is very good with animals or mm. works very closely with animals here. Has, uh, has had a very strong bond with a particular animal here in the past here. Could be. Um, but sm uh, smaller features here on this one. Smaller so again, features. small and large, which is interesting, but quite a low forehead. Not a very long forehead to this yeah, person. Yeah, Low eyebrows here. Mm. A small bum as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. Okay, got the priestess of beauty. So we have long dark locks. Okay, so a sultry brunette potentially, or long, someone with long dark hair. Long dark flowy hair. It could be yeah. It could be Very sexy hair. though. Could be an very beautiful, very elegant. Very attractive. I also feel like it's from that, you know, that yeah. they always want to look the part, immaculate in their presentation or their shapely. appearance here. Shapely. I feel like they're quite musical here, have a musical background or have some sort of art or theatre background here. Mm. Quite expressive in that sense and in their mannerisms here. Um, very expressive in the way that they dress here. For females, I feel like they like to wear a lot of dresses, a lot of skirts Very figure-hugging. Very figure-hugging. But yeah. very very nice shape to this person. Very beautiful. They're, they're in great shape as well. I feel like this person likes to look after themselves, right? Mm. And the way that they present oh, yeah. themselves. They're very big on that. Um, reds come up a lot, so I feel like maybe it's their favorite color here or maybe they have a lot of red um clothing articles yeah here. red ink maybe red. they like to blush their cheeks very red bright red lipstick bright red, yeah red head pieces yeah, like eyeshadows a lot of bright eyeshadows a lot of bright clothing articles here um yeah um they like red a lot is what i'm seeing here could even wear a lot of belts or yeah even have a piecing around the um, belly the button area. yeah yeah okay Last one. Okay. okay, so we've got short, short brown hair in this one. Okay, um, again, a small figured person is what I get. Now, these two both have their eyes closed, so something with the eyes. Something about their eyes. I just feel like they're either very sleepy, maybe very dreamy nature here. Um, 
quite a again quite a artistic or musical nature to this person. Maybe they like to meditate. Yeah, meditation. or they like to take deep breaths, or they have a gesture of just closing their eyes for some reason. Maybe they have to close their eyes to count, or they have to close their eyes to imagine something or remember something. But there's well, they spend a lot of time in front of the computer, and then they have to sort of you know look away, close their eyes, and rest sort of their relax. eyes. Yeah, rest their eyes. Um, yeah, there is some, definitely something with the eyes here, or there could be like a visionary. Maybe that's what we're seeing. Someone who's very artistic, expressive. Someone who sort of you know is very creative in that sense. Has a lot of great or big ideas here. Um, very dreamy. I feel like very dreamy. Yeah. yeah. Like is angel in, wings here. Yeah. So it could be a um in this world, but not of this world. Yeah. So we see there could be a tattoo of wings. Okay, mm -hmm. we see a dragon here as well. So there could be a tattoo of a dragon. Born in the year of the dragon. Could perhaps, be. Yeah. The year of the snake as well is coming in here. Wow. Um, yeah. Very. Again, is this a little creature here? They're very close with animals. It's a bit of a dragon here. Yeah. Close with animals here. Or, yeah, we've mentioned those dragon tattoos. Yeah. Um, is very, like, is into fantasy, fantasy fiction here. Oh, yeah, they're definitely fantasy very novels. out there yeah. straight away. Yeah. Okay, guys, and that's all we have for you. So we just want to thank you all for watching and for listening. Thank you. Have a lovely March. Uh, and we will catch up with you next week. Bye for now. Bye.